Hello and welcome. This is going to be a little different. I ordered from Rooster's Run, which is a ghost kitchen inside of Willie's Grill and Ice House, a Texas restaurant chain. And uh, it's a pretty cool looking bag. I think this started during the pandemic, and because uh, you can pick it up if you want. But DoorDash had this. Really good deal. $12 off, $15 purchase. Free delivery. And the prices are the same in store and online. How about that? So I got the Texas Fried Chicken Club for $13.19. It's a fried chicken breast, jalapeno mayo, bacon, lettuce, tomato, roasted pepper cheese mix on Texas toast. And I got 12 hour brined wings. Five piece of Texas fire for $10.19 and they say these birds are brined and sauced with attitude. Alright, let's break the not so sealed bag. Run hot chicken delivered fast. There and let's take a quick peek and go in for that close up. Another box not cooperating. All right, there's. chicken sandwich, the fried chicken club. I'll give you a close up in a second and let's take a quick look at these wings. These should be the Texas fire wings. They don't look very fiery, but let's get to situate and go for a close up. Great, got the Texas toast. It's kind of soft. Bacon, got your chicken patty, lots of lettuce. The jalapeno mayo underneath the tomato and lettuce and there's that cheese spread and these are the wings the 12 hour brine wings Texas fire all right you saw the close-up let's see what the sandwich is about I'm gonna cut it diagonally Cross section. I got my Texas themed plate for the Texas toast chicken sandwich and the Texas heat wings. Let's see what the sandwich is about. Actually, chicken pieces weirdly shaped that there's hardly none, nothing on that one side, but here we go. The chicken is crispy. Bacon's coming through. The lettuce is coming through. And it's falling off. Bread is soft, it's, and it's falling apart. Cheese mix is coming through. It kind of tastes like pimento cheese. Uh, and then this bag is uh, 
couple of little fork things, a wet wipe, put some ketchup. But sandwich, not impressed. Let's try one of these wings. I thought they were gonna be sauced, but I could be wrong. They look very plain. I ordered Texas heat, which I believe is supposed to be their hottest thing on the menu. Right, in this case, looks are deceiving in both cases. The sandwich looked like they had a lot of potential. These wings look like they would suck, but it's bringing the heat. It's creeping up, it's still creeping. They're a little dry. I don't mind dry wings. And try the flat. Flat's always my test for a wing. If this is crispy, it's usually a winner. Wings are a winner. Sandwich, not so much. This sandwich is just a mess. And look at that little piece of chicken. The wings brought the spice. They're supposedly, it says right here, uh, brined for 12 hours in Shiner Bach. Shiner's a brewery in Shiner, Texas. And uh, yeah, Texas themed. Texas Bach. Texas name, Texas, everything's about Texas here. And uh, the sandwich, it's a letdown. It's not worth $13. If I got this for $6.99, it'd be a different story, but $13.19, uh, or whatever I said, it's, it's all right, but it's a letdown. It's only a 5.75 out of 10. I would never get that again. But these wings, they bring the heat. I'm still burning. I feel like I'm sweating a little bit. A um, little dry. The drummies are a little dry. The other ones are less dry for some reason, but it's a good amount of heat. And uh, these are, I'm going to give them a passive grade of 7.0 out of 10. So, roosters. Run. The bag is really cool. I'm not going to give points for the bag, but I got a good deal and it might be worth checking out. The wings, anyway. So they're a little pricey. Over $2 a wing. So, so always thank you for watching and you have a great day.